Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Can you give me a test? Testing, one, two, three. All right. Test. Good morning, everybody. We are out here in our beautiful home waters today. We actually have a cold front heading to our area probably within the next 24 hours. So we wanted to take advantage of the beautiful weather that we're gonna have today. And the wind is supposed to be howling right now. So we're getting lucky as far as no wind conditions. But right now I am throwing a little terrorize around, a little DOA terrorize, trying to get some bites. First, first spot of the morning, we're just gonna have to see what happens. We got some live shrimp too. And we're just gonna have to take it as it goes here. Hopefully we hook up real soon. This is where we're trying to catch a sheep's head. Whatever you want. What? Whatever you want. I said this is where we were trying to catch the sheep's head, oh. I think. It went un well under a couple times. It was totally under, but it was like... They got the bait. It was like going like this, you know? I hooked up. Yay, first fish of the day. He's not in the boat yet, though. We just saw some explosions going on. There's little baits everywhere. Oh, look at all the jacks following him. Bunch of jacks were just exploding on tiny little minnows in this area. Cast it over there and instantly hooked up. Cool. The good old Jack Ravel in the boat. He looked much bigger than that. The explosions were way bigger. But heck yeah, on the DOA terrorize. We're kind of waiting. The current is starting to come in right now and it's kind of just a weird situation that we have. We don't have a ton of current. So we're kind of just exploring, looking for mullet, live bait. Live bait is also key here. But these beautiful things right here put up a fight. At least we broke off the skunk, guys. That's what matters. Pull this DOA out. And then let's get back to fishing. We're going to fish some of these docks and bridges and structures, see if we can get on some nice snook and other good stuff, maybe some moonfish. We're just going to have to see what happens. I need pliers. All right, we're gonna let him go. Woo, he's gone. I'm covered in fish slime. Hooked up. <laughs> Almost a keeper. Yeah, he's close. He would be nice, fried whole. Schoolmaster. Little schoolmaster and a shrimp and a popping cork. It's almost a keeper. Jack! He's all over this snook. Action. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this. Look at this, guys. I don't know if you can see this. This Jack is all over this DOA in the corner of the snook's mouth, and he wants it. He's totally following the snook. So I just hooked the snook underneath the bridge. See that DOA that's dangling out of his mouth? A big jack came up and tried to eat it. There he is. He's right underneath the, underneath him. That is hilarious. But let's let this little guy go. Just with that little DOA hanging out and the fish darting all over the place like that, it's swimming kind of. So that I've watched that big jack come up, which he's much bigger than this baby snook. Look, he's right there again. It would be hilarious if I hooked two. Oh my gosh. We can get him to eat my shrimp. He's right here. He's circling the snook. Bring my shrimp over. There you go. He's a little bigger than the, than the snook. Crazy, man. Come on, Jack. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I think I'm not eating my, my, this. I think they're dialed in on those minnows, man. Pretty wild to, uh, Watch that Jack try to eat this out of his mouth. He like took a bite out of the snook's lip. That was hilarious. All right, first snook of the day. And it is currently snook season, y'all. So we are looking to get that slot one of these days. Just popped right out of his mouth. DOA terrorized. They love this thing. Bunch of little tiny minnows around right now. This guy is so skinny, so hungry. I wish it were kind of real meal for him. Let's let him go though. Get something bigger. It's always good to see little snook. It should be good. There he goes. All right, sweet. Let's get on some more fish here. What's up, guys? Pudding here. 
I just want to mention about that shrimp. I had, I had, I've been fishing the same bridge with the shrimp on a bobber and just try to get that jack to eat it. And, I, and Darcy caught the snook on a, on a lure, on a DOA. So, you know, live bait doesn't always work. You'd think they would eat the shrimp first, but no. Yeah. So I'm just saying you got to try different things out here. And that's why we always try, are always doing two different things. We don't come out here and do the same thing. Exactly. Exactly. I had thrown that DOA like right against that seawall. Yeah. Like I hit the concrete. Oh, nope. What? Yeah, tell me when you're fishing. Sorry, I'm fishing. Oh. I think that was another sheep's head. Action. Not very big. What is it? Oh, it's a catfish. Awesome. Lovely catfish for me. Yay! Stay hooked, stay hooked! Sick. Woo! Oh boy, I don't want to break off and try to flip them right now. Come on, want me the net? Or the net, or grab them, lip them. It's only 20 pounds. What? It's only 20 pounds, he swallowed it. Come on, baby. I am, I am, I am. Nice. We got him, we got him, we got him. He's a little bigger. <laughs> Man, we are putting in our work today, y'all. We are trying our hardest to catch fish. I'll pop that out in a second here. I really let him eat it. We got some shrimp again. Still, I have not been able to catch any type of live fish bait for these fish, but beautiful snook here. Check that out. He actually has like an old injury on this side that's healed. But that was a hungry little guy right there underneath this bridge. We're just trying every spot we can possibly think of and trying to land fish. So nice snook, just not a keeper. Let's let him go. All right, let's let him go, y'all. Hungry fish. At least he got a uh, shrimp out of that deal. <laughs> He's gone. Nice. Okay. We're just going to keep grinding here, not giving up. Nice. All right. Another snook for me. Woo, within minutes of each other, actually. Let's flip this guy in. Check him out. They are very hungry, man. Can't seem to find myself any big ones, but a snook is a snook in my book. This guy is actually like identical to the guy that I caught this morning. So skinny and cute, very hungry. Tearing it up, look how awesome. I just need a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. <laughs> Fish gods, please work with me here. All right, let's let him go. Can we get picked? He's already sucking my thumb. Woo, awesome. All right, so I'm just using, just so you guys know, I'm using a jig head here that I tied with a loop knot and I'm using 20 pound fluorocarbon leader because I'm really trying to get these bites today just because we're having a really tough look out here. And then I'll show you how I rig the shrimp now. Okay, so I just picked out a fresh live shrimp that we bought earlier this morning. So this is how I do it, y'all. I am going to pinch the tail off right here at the, the first section, basically. You just pinch your two fingers together, comes right off, throw that away. That's what gets a stink in the water initially. So the fish actually find your bait and know the shrimp is in the area. So they're gonna go looking for it. Now what I do is I take the jig, doesn't matter what size jig it is, depending on how, you know, how long the barb is, you're gonna line it up to your shrimp and then approximately figure out where that barb is going to come out. Usually you wanna go between two segments. See how I just did that? I went through two segments and then I'm gonna push him as high as I can up the jig so he stays on there as I, as I work him. So I'm gonna cast him out, let him sit on the bottom, and then I slowly bounce the tip of the rod and he's gonna kind of work himself backwards, kind of swimming like a, a real live shrimp and hopefully he gets eaten right away. But that's how I caught the last two snook. Let's do this. And, forgot to mention, this is 
20 pound braid as my main line. And again, I'm using 20 pound fluorocarbon leader matched with that, which is really dangerous snook fishing because snook will fray your line in two seconds. But I just caught two, so I'm gonna keep with it. Hooked up. What do I got, what do I got? Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh my gosh, it's a, it's a drum. What? Black drum. What? That is pretty dang cool, y'all. Okay. <laughs> this is pretty wild. So we've caught like an assortment of species today. Species today. And I mean, a lot of them are on the small side, but you know what? A fish is a fish. I'm not complaining at all. I always say that to you guys, but this is a juvenile black drum. Look how cute he is. That's your personal best black drum. I've caught a black drum many, 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 <laughs> many moons ago. I'm not even going to count it. Is it bigger can than that one? Him? I don't know if you can hear him, guys. If you shut up, we can. <laughs> Pretty wild. That's the drum. Yeah, that's the drum. Ooh, and he's covered in, oh no. These are actually like little whiskers that they use to feel the bottom. Pretty wild. Well, let's let, let him get him off of here. Pretty cool though. Catching fish left and right now. We found the spot. But I'm gonna let him go here. Take a picture with my personal best. Black drum. He's so big and cute. Okay, y'all, so the pretty dang cool that I just showed you how to rig that shrimp and I caught that freaking black drum, which is my first black drum in my home waters. We don't have redfish and drum and trout up here in the Boynton area, or West Palm area. We don't have any grass flats. We don't have the structures that we do up north in North Florida. So really lucky to catch that. It was pretty unique and rare catch. Might just be a jack. Little snapper. Filming. It's okay, forget it. We got a mangrove. Be happy, it's a fish. He's not happy. Hooked up. We moved on from that bridge it was great catching so many fish and sorry guys it's really windy dude it's just keep getting windier as we're out here we moved from the bridge to get a little bit bigger species and just try some other areas while we still got the time to do so what do i got it feels like a catfish please don't be a catfish it is a freaking catfish Ugh. i hate catfish These flats we're currently fishing is right, right in the backyard of President Donald Trump's Winter White House down here in Palm Beach, Florida. And no, this is not a politi political endorsement, but he lives super close to us and we never get to fish this close, especially when he's in town because this is all cordoned off. Pretty cool that we can get this close. Nice dog sizzle. And just to remind everybody again, this is a tourist spot, an attraction and Mar-a-Lago, so it's, it's right by our house. So here it is, now you know, all right? Vote for whoever you want. <laughs> all right, let's wrap it up, Sizzle. mean over nothing. Let's wrap it up. I'm ready to wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Wrap it up. Let's go, we're wrapping up right now. Okay, go. We're filming the wrapping. Speak, wrapping up. talk. <laughs> Talk yourself, old man. <laughs> See how she mistreats me, everybody? He's very grumpy because we didn't catch a lot today. We didn't catch a lot, and I'm grumpy, and I haven't eaten a lot either. But uh, we got to get, get off the boat, and we got a great important call with uh, Land Shark. Yeah, we got a lot more business stuff to do right now. Yes. <laughs> so work never, never ends. Never ends. But anyway, we love it, though, and it is, we're so lucky to be able to do it. But uh, yeah, you know, we caught a bunch of snook, gave you guys some tips. You know, not, not every day is a banner day. And uh, we showed you guys some tourist attractions. Yep. And again, third time. If you're going to give liberals a bunch of crap or Trump, Trump, uh, Trump supporters a bunch of crap in their comments, I'm just going to block it or delete it. All right? So don't do that. Just be normal people. No big deal. Tourist attraction. It's Mar-a-Lago tourist attraction. Thumbs up. All right, Sizzle. All right, y'all. 
Sorry. Thanks so much for watching this video. <laughs> and until our next one, which will be better, follow your dreams, dreams and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Do you want anything from the cooler?